Now Kelly has his new marching orders advance Trump's stalled legislative agenda while working as a gatekeeper and a peacekeeper. But is this mission impossible for the retired general? Joining me via Skype is David Cohen. He teaches political science at the University of Akron, focusing on the American presidency. Uh, David, in an op-ed piece in the Washington Post, John Podesta, the White House uh, chief of staff under former President Bill Clinton, said it is mission impossible. He said the best advice he could give Kelly is don't do it. Is it mission impossible? I would say it's likely mission impossible. Um, you know, John Kelly has been given a very difficult task, uh, and that is to bring order to the chaos that is gripping the Trump White House right now. Um, that uh, chaos really stems from the top. I mean, this is this is Donald Trump's mess, and the big challenge that um, uh, John Kelly is going to have is. Uh, is the president willing uh, to give John Kelly the tools uh, and the authority and the power uh, to clean things up? Is he going to allow John Kelly to um, really be able to regulate access uh, to president uh, to the president? Is he going to uh, be able to force people like uh, Ivanka uh, and Jared Kushner uh, to report through the chief of staff's office? Uh, are others who right now have walk-in privileges to the Oval Office? Are they going to um, uh, be willing to go through the chief of staff's office uh, in, in order to allow the chief of staff to, to get a handle on things? Is he going to be able to, with all the warring factions within the White House, will he be able to bring peace to those warring factions uh, and uh, force them uh, to be team players? Most importantly, is the president himself willing to be uh, corralled mm -hmm. uh, by a strong chief of staff? Uh, because that's been the biggest problem of all, is the fact that Donald Trump, who is so undisciplined uh, and, um, you know, is so reactionary in many ways, uh, will go on Twitter rants uh, and completely undercut his administration's message, uh, you know, frequently. So that that's, that's the task that John Kelly uh, has. It's going to be an extremely difficult one, uh, and um, the chances of success are not very high, I don't think. So, David, unpack all of this, because, I mean, you're talking about a number of things there. Obviously, he's got to impose discipline, as you pointed out. He's got to help his, with his agenda. But I think what you're also saying is he's got to figure out a way to get the president of the United States to stop tweeting. Which one's the most important? Uh, I think uh, getting the president not only to stop tweeting, uh, but to act like a president, to understand uh, the uh, seriousness uh, of his role as president of the United States, uh, getting the president to listen to advice. Uh, this is a president uh, that throughout his career, uh, throughout his business career, um, he's really acted as his own chief of staff. Uh, and he, you know, Donald Trump thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. Uh, and he really doesn't, uh, you know, trust his advisors uh, a whole lot. Well, you have to put that kind of trust into a strong chief of staff. And and uh, John Kelly is going to have to be able to be honest uh, with him. Uh, Donald Trump, Trump is going to have to be able to take criticism uh, from the chief of staff. And he's also going to have to listen to the chief of staff when the chief thinks uh, that the president um, is about to make a, a very bad decision. And so I'm just not sure that Trump is wired to be able to do that. Yeah, and Kelly also uh, considered uh, resigning uh, because of uh, uh, Comey being sacked. And Podesta says that may be the toughest job to uh, protect the integrity and independence in the Justice Department. Can he do that as well? Boy, that's a good question. And, you know, this is, John Kelly is someone that has a sterling reputation uh, after serving decades, uh, you know, in the military uh, and as a, uh, an officer and as a, and as a general. Um, and the last thing John Kelly wants to do is to uh, blemish that uh, sterling reputation. I think he's serving as chief of staff and, uh, out of, uh, uh, you know, respect uh, for the office and uh, because he wants to help uh, the country. And uh, I, I think um, that uh, I, would, I would be shocked if he were to enable uh, Donald Trump or any of his people to in, 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 uh, impede the investigation uh, that's taking place, uh, which really has to be outside the Oval Office. Uh, and, and Trump and his people uh, need to let the investigation continue uh, without any interference. David, uh, one final question. Most Americans in a new poll believe that the White House is in chaos. There's a saying here in Washington, perception is reality, but it seems like reality is reality. That It does appear to be uh, very chaotic there. How do you turn that around? Uh, 
the perception, well, you you change the reality uh, because the perception, you are correct, the perception is dead on. Uh, it is uh, the most chaotic White House we have ever seen in this country, uh, certainly in modern times. Uh, and I think uh, the American public's instincts on this are, are dead solid perfect. It's, it's a mess right now. And one final question before you go. Reputation for the United States worldwide. What does this do for the reputation of the United States globally? Oh, I think I think uh, the United States' reputation has has been plummeting since January 20th. Uh, so many actions taken by the Trump administration really go against uh, uh, not only the recent history uh, of the United States, but against uh, you know professed American values uh, across the globe. The United States uh, is supposed to be really a, a role model for others uh, in terms of uh, how we. Uh, handle our democracy and, and, and handle how the United States handles itself across the globe. Uh, right now, that, uh, that image is in tatters. David Cohen joining us from Akron, Ohio. Thanks so much.